I have been campaigning probably for the last five years around ending the use of the war for farming. And when you look at the war, no badza, it's usually used by women for majority who are actually the producers who work the land. And it's a bare spine breaking a tool that needs to be put into the museum. And if you argue that we need the war in the museum, you also have to start thinking about alternatives. What then do we do to need to be able to produce, you know, probably at the same level or even higher level? That's where mechanization becomes very, very then suitable. But look at the, we have got a mechanization policy that was designed about 10 years ago. Now it's coming to fruition. It's, a number of players are coming in with different propositions and solutions and techno solutions. For instance, the unit that they are selling now, the two-wheel truck, the uh, tractor, it goes for $6,000, $6,000. Who can afford that? Who can afford that? Who, yes, really, can afford, who really can afford that? Uh -huh. How, so it actually means that we need a different model in order for smallholders to be able to access those units. You might not want to have every smallholder farmer having a tractor. Mm -hmm. It is highly inefficient. True. Because you are not using it throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Just the same, you don't need a combined harvester as a single farmer. You don't need all those 370 horsepower tractors alone when you don't have, when you've got, you got adequate land to, to produce on it. So what you need is to go for the alternatives. Do we come up with uh, different sorts of companies, you know, uh, smallholder companies that really job is to manage the mechanization rather than them farming. So that when I need a tractor, I get it. When I need a combined harvest, I get it. So, so those are the things that we need to be talking about because honestly speaking, the two tractors, they're just too expensive. Way expensive, yeah. out of reach. Yeah.